Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Gold Bazan. Today we'll be doing a special interview, a player that has been hugely linked with a national team for some time. Every team Medi fan should know him by now is Ryan Tafazoli. We wanted to do this interview a while back, but because of the club obligations that Ryan had, it was not possible to do so until now. We appreciate Ryan's time and, you know, as always, appreciate the support you guys have been giving us throughout you know, since we started this podcast. We're going to give out great content leading up to the World Cup. We hope you enjoy this interview, and we hope you enjoy it. Hi, folks. Right now, I'm currently joined with Ryan Tafazoli. Um, we appreciate his time. How you doing, Ryan? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, sir. Uh, very well, my friend. So as you know, um, you've become such a huge name right now in the media, obviously. Um, hugely linked with national team Medley and whatnot. Um, before we want to get into the gist of things, Ryan, obviously people, a lot of team Medley fans obviously know you from a distance, but if you could a little bit tell us about, you know, uh, what made you get into football, about your time from Southampton to Mansfield to Petersburg, you know, that you're playing for now, um, and just talk about your latest ambitions and whatnot. Yeah, so obviously when I was... Um when I was a little boy and younger, um, my my older cousins they played football and just around my nan's house and stuff. And when I started started to realise I was pretty decent and better than most of my classmates at a young age, that's when uh, I got picked up by Charlton. Firstly, when I was like seven, I was there for a couple of years, got released and signed for Southampton when I was uh, twelve, and then I was there for, at Southampton for seven or eight years or so, and then I. I um, went on to Mansfield, was there for four years, and now I'm at Peterborough. And how has that, how has it been so far for you? And just just to top it on this, have you ever, from a young child, been supporting Team Melly from a young age? Yeah, I mean, my dad, my, my dad, I remember we used to watch the World Cups all the time when I was young. My dad's a massive fan, obviously, he, um, he's always followed the uh, Iranian football um, my mum's not Iranian, so she um, she's actually Irish. So they, uh, I remember one one time they played against each other. It was quite funny, but um, yeah, always. And that was a historic match by itself, Ryan. Um, the question that we've always been getting about you is that from now, what has made you you know be so ambitious to potentially play you know play for Team Mendy? Um, has this always been like a dream of yours? Yeah, always. I mean, to play. To play for your for your national team is just it's just such an honour and it's always been it's always been an ambition of mine. I'm, I know I'm hoping if I have a if I have a good season this season and we can hopefully get promoted with mm-hmm. Peter Bar, push to the championship. I'm hoping you know I'd get a call up if 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 we don't get promoted and my performances are still good. Hopefully it will still work out anyway. But I think you know as a as a team at Peter Bar, we, if we do well, which I'm sure we will. Um, it will increase my chances of um, getting promoted, uh, getting called up. Sorry. And has there been any sort of contact from any staff member from national team or even the yeah. head coach Carlos Kairos? Yeah, um, I, I met up with a staff member um, and one of my friends, um, another Iranian guy yeah. in um, in London at the end of last season. He just you know just was. was he was over here and he, he, he said he, he, he was going to come and watch me play, but I was injured at the time, so we, we went for some food instead. And um, it was really good. He just gave me like he gave me an insight as to what it's like in, um, in the camps and team melee and how things work and, you know, what, um, what, what I should focus on to get caught up and he gave me some advice and it was, it was really good. But you've never had a personal contact with Carlos Kairos by himself yet, no? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. Haven't had any any uh, contact with um, Carl Gross himself. No. So Ryan, before we talk about it, is there any potential? Like you know, we've you've played against Chelsea, against these top sides and whatnot. Yeah. What is your your ultimate goal potentially down the road? I mean, right now in the short term, um, besides yeah. Team Medley. My goal is to play play in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Definitely, and to play for um, play for Iran. They're my two like you know long term sort of goals, uh, life goals if you, if you like to put it. 
Um, obviously, you know, with English, with English football, it's so competitive. It's so so hard to to um, to make it to the top and playing in playing in League One you know, on a worldwide stage is sort of seen as um, not. It's not as like it's not as good for your profile as it would be playing in the second league in Germany, say for example, um, when when they're probably of the same standard. So I think to get to get closer to Team Melli, I probably have to you know be up there this season with Peter Bryan and, and get promoted. Hopefully, right. you know there are rumors. I mean, if you feel comfortable talking about it, obviously, um, that you would yeah. have potentially played even at a club level in Iran, which I personally believe that was a smart decision for you still to remain in the UK. Is were these rumors ever true? Uh, there were some contacts from you know a few um, Iranian agents asking me whether I would like to go and play mm-hmm. for a club in Iran, but I, I sort of said. Well, I sort of feel like my career in England at the minute is 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 moving forward. Right. Until that stagnates, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be something I'd, I'd consider because I want to see how high I can play in England first um, before you know looking looking elsewhere. And it's always been my dream to play in the Premier League. Right. And you know, I've, I know you're a very versatile player. You play centre back and centre mid. Um, what's your future? Yeah. What do you potentially see yourself as playing regularly now? Yeah, definitely centre back. Definitely, like obviously I'm left footed, so right. it helps that I can play um, left side as well, which is good. Um, but definitely centre back would be my main my main position. Ryan, is there any last few thoughts that you have for Team Mendy fans or for yourself that you would like to say? Um, no, nah, I just want to let them know that I'm working really hard to get a call up, and I'll be the happiest man. The happiest man if I if if I did get called up, so you know hopefully it won't be too long. Well, Ryan, we appreciate your in for giving us your time, and hopefully we get a call thank up you. and represent our national team. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully, hopefully, sir. <laughs> appreciate it, my man. Cheers, man.